welcome back. Today we got the Buzz TV HD5, and this is it's already plugged in. It's got that cool little light thing on there that I you know I, I geek on stuff like that. Um, but everything on this thing's great. If you guys missed my last video, I do have one that shows all the specs and everything that you get. Uh, today we're going to be jumping into the features, what it is that it has. So if you're interested, check the description below. I leave links to all this stuff with discount code coupon. So make sure you guys do look at that. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump straight into this guy. So here it is. Um, this device is a beast. So first off, when you do plug this in, some of the stuff I added Ida 64, which just checks the specs. But you got like Disney Plus, you got Netflix. And I think Netflix is going to be in standard definition, not the 4K, but it's still going to work good. Um, Disney Plus, I think it is the 4K version youtube there's your settings ota all kinds of stuff here so google play store you're going to get a lot of good stuff there now one of the things i like to go to is buzz tv smart remote that's for this guy right here um so you do have your backlight offer on so if you do click on this it will say offer on and there it is the lights will turn off or on good stuff there it says battery 55%. That's my batteries. Uh, set up color keys. Now, if you guys don't know, you have some color key shortcuts right here. So you could set them up however you want. Pretty nice. Update control software. It checks it to see if it has the latest firmware. And this one does. Very, very simple. That's, that's actually really, really good to have there. Some of the other stuff here, if you go to... Let me see. If you go all the way to the... To the top here, you're going to see settings. I'm going to hide myself here. When you go to settings, you're going to be able to get your connect, Bluetooth stuff, uh, Buzz TV utilities, and updates. Now, I don't think I saw Buzz TV utilities on here. You see Buzz TV OTA. So this will be for your updates, which I'll do another video later. But if you come down here to the little gear icon, this will be your setting stuff. So to get to your Buzz TV uh, utilities, typically they have a little shortcut there, but for whatever reason they don't. You could do your system update, home screen, uh, Buzz TV Modern. This is where you could change the, the home screen here. So you got your classic media player, media player two. So it just gives it a, just a couple different options here. So it's not that bad. You got your weather, control settings, and volume. If you guys are interested in the home settings here, we'll do uh, we'll do the top one, Buzz TV Classic. This will set the whole thing up, and it has that option right there. So pretty good. If you want to switch it up, go back to settings, go back to utilities, and go to home screen, and we'll try a uh, media player. And this is the media player one. This is very simple because you could just use this little plus sign right there, and you could set up all the apps. So it's right there. There's no. I know Fire Stick has like advertisements and stuff like that. This is like here's all the apps. This is all you get. You're good to go. Now, if you're like, well, I'm not a fan of this one, just hit that little icon right there, go to your settings here, and then come down to Buzz TV Utilities right there. Um, again, right here, you're going to find your, your home screen, Buzz Media Player, click on that, Buzz Media Player 2. And now, again, this gives you a little bit of bigger options here, which is great. So we're going to come back here to settings. And we're going to come here to Buzz Utilities one more time, home screen, and Buzz TV Modern. Um, again, really good stuff. This one just has all your shortcuts here at the bottom. Um, and then you can just hit the plus sign. I personally like Media Player 2 just because it's bigger and it's all there. So some good stuff there. Um, for your live TV, VOD, PVR, EPG, this is something that you're going to need on your own. These guys don't provide any of that stuff. I get people always ask, how do I get this? Um, if you have a Mac server, this is what you'll need. If you have extreme codes, this is what you'll need. And M3 list, this is what you need. Typically for like extreme codes, you hit the add portal name, call it whatever you want. Um, portal URL. This is the URL that you're going to be given and then username, password. So again, Buzz TV doesn't have any of that stuff. This is something that you got to get on your own. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I wanted to keep this video really, really short and sweet. So that way you guys get all the special features on this thing, but this thing works insane um if you guys do want to see i'll show you guys something really quick here we'll go to youtube and again this will play all the 4k quality stuff whatever max quality that you'll get good stuff there now we'll just come here to search we're gonna do uh 
let's go and find beyond the streams here podcast if you guys don't know we have a podcast here and we discuss all kinds of stuff so make sure you guys do check us out so there you go there is beyond the streams we're going to go ahead and click on our latest episode and there you go um playing pretty good it looks <laughs> super clean but yeah, wanted to bring you guys all that info. Make sure you guys get all that stuff there. If you guys haven't messed with this remote, um, this is the last thing I'm going to end up with. So with your Buzz TV remote, you do get your power, your sources, pause, play, forward, backwards. Um, you get your stuff here for your TV. You get your settings, your guide, up, down, left, right, directional, enter, reverse, home. Um, I think that's your your mouse this is a really important button right there your mouse if you guys use your chrome you're going to need to use this every now and then to use the mouse to click um that's your back info volume up down channel up down you can set up shortcuts right here um these are going to be all your number buttons um and that's pretty much it you know the one thing I, I would say is i know the number five has like two dots right there that you can feel the the number five i wish they did something like that to the enter button just so that way it doesn't like it's not it's not, it's too smooth for me like i'm just like okay am i hitting up down sometimes i've hit that enter button just because i was a little bit too high but yeah pretty good stuff let me know what you guys think as always you guys take care take care of each other leave me a comment below make sure you guys are sub to the channel yeah see you guys in the next one take care guys